was really trying to make sure that we incorporate culture and the land and those sorts of things into the building because that's what's important to us. Any new infrastructure that we're looking at, we make sure that we have a cultural feel to make sure that community feel comfortable coming through our doors. A respect for people, a respect for the environment and a respect for country. As architects, we see that as very strong within our ethos as well. So the connection is really pretty seamless. I like to have a better shape to things, so that was very important to me. Recognising it is a medical facility, but trying to make it really as least clinical as possible. I love this, I think that was a real catch on our part because it was just going to be red. I was talking to the site supervisor and he said there's other colours in that and I thought, oh, well let's get the other colours and make the flag. We really did try to involve the community as much as possible. The more that they've got a voice and the more that their ideas are actually seen in the organisation, gives them a form of ownership of the building as well. I've got some art in some of the social and emotional wellbeing rooms. I've done the lamps. That gives you a sense of belonging. You just belong here. The light that's behind me right now is a design between Karen and the community they came up with. They're an Aboriginal company that make the glass from the water on land. Kids that I work with, they'll always ask, oh, what's that? And you have to explain that this is the water on land and that's what the glass is made from. Coming here with stuff like that makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. The people that come here feel like this is our place. They feel that the environment's culturally safe, culturally inclusive, and making sure that whatever appointment they're coming in for, that they're feeling comfortable in doing so. We thought that the platypus would be a good logo for Ballarat because we are made up of different tribal groupings across the nation. So we all feel included within this space. It's not just one mob, we're all a part of it. They were my husband's totem. Every time I look at them, I see him. Both his parents were from Tasmania, but like many people, they were relocated. People from WA, you know, from Alice Springs, who have made a life here. Everybody wants to see a platypus. Everybody wants to be friends to a platypus, but they're so I think that fire pit out the front is another symbol of making sure that we can create a traditional sense of community and country in the middle of Ballarat. It's always been something that's used in our culture that incorporates the whole of the community. And so I really look at that as something really significant. Cleansing the soul and just cleansing yourself before you go into a meeting, having a bit of an open mind, all that sort of stuff. Helping us on our journeys from old to new new beginnings. It's a bit of nature inside and we call that room the tree room now. I think it's brilliant. The branches of the tree symbolises where we are as a community. We were built off the foundations of the stolen generation. You've got your roots and your foundations of where bad acts come from to the tree, to the families that sort of branch out and make sure that we're all still connected in one sense. I think that having these elders and respected persons around the room as well really puts the icing on the cake for me. You know, a lot of these people have not just impacted this community, but myself. Knowing that we've got the spirit of our ancestors, but also the spirit of these guys around us today, and a lot of them are still with us today, just utilising their knowledge and expertise for us to move forward, but also acknowledge where we've come from in the past as well. I grew up with all these people around me. For me to be in a position that I'm in at the moment has been influenced by each and every one of these people around this room. Wherever I need to get my strength from, you know, I'll come in here, look around the room, and hopefully I can be seen by younger generations in the way that I'm looking at my elders and respected persons around the room too. It's really personal for me.